Hello everyone and welcome to Hair Styling with Aiden from Bitsbox. I'm going to show you a really cool technique I developed here. I've uh, I found this new very eco-friendly hair dryer. You see that I, I use it like this and I sort of... I can... You're not done. You're not buying this. Okay, let's, uh, let's code something instead. I'm going to show you something that I just made that I think would be really cool for you to see. Now I'm calling this thing Hamster Palooza and check it out. Whenever I tap the screen... A random assortment of eight animals flies out in like a little firework of uh, firework of animals, just like that. So sometimes it's hamsters, sometimes it's bugs, sometimes it's giraffes. I'm going to show you how to code this app. Let's do it now. I'm going to go back over here. Let's build a new app just like this. And I don't want to build a numbered app like I would if I was coding with Bitsbox materials. I'm going to go to invent my own app. And let's just call this thing go flying hamsters and let's title it like this now the first thing i like to do when i'm coding anything really is i just like to put something on the screen i find that uh oh wait which hamster do i want i'm gonna go up here i'm gonna search my stamps for hamsters yes this hamster two this guy right there that's what i want so let's go hamster two put another tick and put that right there all right so i've got a hamster on the screen which i like uh but tapping doesn't put it on the screen. I just put the command here, so he's already on there. What I need is a tap function so that the hamster only shows up when I tap the screen. So check it out. I'm just going to indent this guy in two spaces. Let's go back. Let's rerun my app. Now check it out. When I tap the screen, the hamster appears. And that's great, but that's not exactly what I want. So let's, um, let's change something. Let's go in here. Now, the trick to um, making the hamster appear where I tap on the screen is to put in x comma y as coordinates for, uh, for, for where I want it to appear. And that's kind of Bitsbox code for do this where you tap on the screen. Check it out. Tap, tap, tap. And now wherever I tap, there's a hamster. But that hamster is too big. So let's put another comma and put in a size parameter. That's 200 pixels. So now if I tap, that's a nice small hamster. And I think we can all agree that that's fantastic, but it will be a lot better if that hamster could fly. Right, Emma? She's nodding. Excellent. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little dot move function to the end of this uh, stamp command. So here we go. I'm going to make it move in the up direction by 1,500 pixels over 2,500 milliseconds, which is two and a half seconds. And now I'm going to go over here, rerun this app, and check it out. Now every time I tap, that hamster is going to fly up and off the screen. He's flying up by 1,500 pixels, which is taller than the screen is. And that makes me happy, but I think what I need is the sound right now, right? So let's add in that awesome hoo sound. Let's go over here. And that is fantastic, but I don't want that to happen every time I'm practicing. So I'm going to go in here and say forward slash forward slash, which just comments out that line of code that's telling... Bitsbox, don't run that line of code. So that's called commenting out, and that just cancels out that line of code for now. If I want it to run, I can just take away those two forward slashes next time. Excellent, cool. So what I want to happen, though, is I want a lot of hamsters to appear. So I think what I'll do is just copy this whole line of code and do another hamster and make that run. Now, that's cool, but both hamsters are going in exactly the same. They're appearing in the same place and going in the same direction, so we can kind of only see one at a time. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to add in bum 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 a fifth parameter. So this is the stamp uh, string. This is the x coordinate, the y coordinate, the size, and then what I'm going to show you now is what's called a rotation parameter. So check it out. Now when I tap on the screen. I'm going to get two hamsters. One is going up. That's a rotation of zero. I can actually show you what that'll look like. There we go. Rotation of zero just goes straight up, and the rotation of 45 degrees goes like that. Let me go ahead and take these two guys and just copy in two more. Let's go 90 degrees on this one, and then 90 plus 45 is 135 degrees on that one. Now check it out. Now I've got four hamsters flying out of my cursor, which makes me happy. Now I'll just take all four of these guys and copy those in. Now I have to put in hmm, 135 plus 45 is 180. Uh, 180 plus 45 is 225. 225 plus 45 is 270. 
and 270 plus 45 is 315. So let's see if this works. I'm going to uncomment that line so that the sound plays this time. Check it out. Now I'm getting all eight hamsters. And on its own, that's a pretty fantastic app, but I can hear the coding people looking at me. They're sort of shaking their little fists and yelling at me right now because, of course, this is a lot of code to type in, and it's kind of doing the same thing over and over. And every time you see code like this, where it's running basically the same thing with just a little variation every time, what does that tell you that should be? That should be its own function. So I'm going to make a function called make hammy. Here we go. And I'm just going to take... Let me take all of this away. I'm going to take one of my lines of code. There we go. I'm going to put it inside this function right here and over here. So instead of writing this line of code, I am going to run my make hammy function. Let's take this away. Okay, so now what's happening is whenever I tap, it'll play the sound and it runs make hammy. Make hammy is down here and make hammy says stamp this hamster just like that. So watch. Now we are back to one hamster. I think what I'm going to do is comment out that sound again so that we don't have to listen to it over and over again. Now, here's the problem. I want eight hamsters, and I only want to tap once to make eight hamsters. So I'm going to use the repeat command, and I'm going to put the make hammy function inside it. I'm going to say I want eight hamsters. So now what's going to happen is Bitsbox going to get to line three and it's going to say repeat make hammy eight times. So let's do that. Let's make eight hamsters. Ready? Okay, so the problem, the problem here is that eight hamsters are all coming in the same place. I need every hamster, every one of those eight hamsters to rotate a different amount. So here's the cool trick. I'm going to do what's called an iterator variable. So I'm going to create a new variable called r. Let's just set it to zero here. And then I'm going to change the little rotation variable or parameter that sits here in this function to say it should be r times my angle of rotation. And it's totally, totally okay if you don't understand what's going on right now. The whole point of learning to code is that it takes a while, but that eventually you can do this stuff while you're talking, let's say, to thousands of people on the internet. So here we go. I'm going to hit run. Now what's happening is every time I tap, it's going to repeat make hammy. So it's going to do eight hand eight times make hammy. So the first time r is equal to zero and um, then it's going to run this thing zero times 45 is zero and then the next time it's going to do oh well r equals r plus one so the next time r is going to be equal to one one times 45 is 45 and so on the next time it's two two times 45 is 90 so watch now when I tap all eight hamsters are there again. And the really cool thing about having it um, separated out in a function like this is you can do things like this. Check it out. I'm going to come in here and say, uh, let's make a variable called critter. And I want it equal to a random critter every time. So one of those critters is going to be hamster. Another one will be, let's say, bug 12. That's the one we saw in the app before. And then... Let's go over here to giraffe four, just like that. Let's close that out. And then in here, instead of doing that hamster stamp, I'm going to tell it to use critter. So every time I tap that, uh, tap the screen, it's going to make a new a value to critter. It's going to assign a new value to critter randomly from these three and use that. So check it out. Let's take away the sound, just like this, and go tap. Oh, yeah! And I've got those fantastic hamsters and giraffes all working. So here's your challenge. I want you to try building this app yourself. So just put the little video next to yourself and maybe cry side by side. I'd love to see what you do. I hope you have fun with this. Share your apps. Make them everywhere. Have fun. Take care. Thanks. Bye.